let's have a little chit chat. Let's talk about the subject of fear. Yes, fear. There is no big money in an environment of fear. If, what's the term? Scared money never made money. And I'm coming to y'all this way, Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, because I think there's a lot of fear in the air. I think there is a bunch of fear. People are scared of their own shadows because I've been thinking and I've come up with some stuff. So undoubtedly, there's information on this channel that you can make money. Watch the video, execute. But there is something that is stopping some of you from executing. Let's discuss it. I think, and I'm making some assumptions here, because I'm looking at the way that I was raised. I got some good stuff and there was a lot of bad stuff. And a lot of bad stuff was fear oriented. Get a good job, don't make waves, keep a low profile. And one of the big issues I think is that many parents did not do a good job in educating you because I didn't get this speech. I know you didn't get this speech, but I got this. I heard this for the first time when I got Earl Nightingale's Lead the Field. You can have the life that you want if you choose it. He was the first one that broke that down to me. And I was like, really? That's interesting. Because the life that I have currently, when I was listening to Earl Night, I didn't like that life. I didn't have any money. I was living in a crazy situation. Each day was a day about survival. I didn't like living like that. And the orientation, because this is the speech you should have got from mom and dad. Hey there, little Joey. We're just here to welcome you into the world and tell you that you can have anything that you want. And we're here to support you. None of y'all got that speech. None of y'all got that speech. If you did, consider yourself fortunate. Because I feel there is so much fear. That's why people hide behind screen names and don't put their picture up because they want to say something crazy that they don't have the, uh, the courage to say under their real name with their real face. And there's been a study done about that. That's why Facebook really cracked down on people and they really wanted people to use their real names because there's just less BS because people are not so willing to say certain things, then, you know, we got people who are crazy, who are racist, who will just say whatever they want to say and then get mad when they get called on the carpet. But the kind of fear that I'm talking about is a systematic fear of, I don't know for you what it may be, but I do know that this fear is keeping you from making money. This I do know because there's some of you, and we've had conversations on the live streams, and we talked about it, and you like three and five and six years shaping it up. That is fear. To do your LLC holding company situation, you could do that in a week. Market research, you should have been done on that. There is no legitimate reason for you to be planning something three to five years I was listening to Grant Cardone, and Grant was scared. He, he didn't know what to do, so he sat on his money. But once he learned what to do, he started spending more money. He did three deals in like six months, whereas he'd just been sitting on money. One of the things that you've got to understand is fear chases away money, love, and friends. That fear. And a lot of you guys got that fear. Because as God is my witness, 
I got information on this channel that would make you money if you would take action. And uh, because of this fear, this scaredy cat stuff, you won't take action because I feel that some of you are afraid of being successful. And I'm going to tell you why. Success requires more of you. See, being a regular, average person, not doing much, don't have many assets, have no ad. Life is super simple. You don't have property to keep up with. You don't have stocks. You don't have accounts to keep up with. It's super simple. And I think that many of you, because you know that once you become successful, you can't be that lazy slob that you are anymore. And you like being that lazy slob. You don't like the results of being a lazy slob, but you like the inactivity. You don't want to be responsible. And once again, for people to cross that first barrier and start a small business, I think mo most small businesses don't have one, don't have an employee. Most. And that's that fear. And you know, there's a lot that goes with having an employee training an employee, making sure they show up. There's a lot. But once again, that's fear. Because one of the greatest traits of how successful your business will be long term is how fast you hire employees. That's one of the uh, signals. But there's so much fear out here because I get into some of these conversations and we be talking about making money and everybody wants to make money, but you want to make it clean. You don't want to do the hard work. You don't want to do the dirty work. You want to make your money clean and cute. And when I say clean and cute, I'm talking about like when I wrote my ebook and I made all that money, it's like Linda wrote the ebook. He didn't work hard. He had money coming in. That's what I want. You ain't me. You have not walked my path because you know how I got to that spot in life? It started in the first grade when I was reading all those books. The acquisition of knowledge. That's when it started. So you got to understand the success process starts long before the success is realized. And because you guys have this fear, scared little bitches, you're not getting any traction because you ain't doing that. Mm -mm, none. One of the things that's going to happen, and there, there, once again, there's no big money in an environment of fear. Scared money never made money. And as long as you occupy and allow your fears Whatever they may be, maybe you don't think you're good enough. Maybe you don't think you deserve success. Maybe you just full of self-loathing and hate. I don't know. But I, I do know this, that until you release and let go of that fear, which you're holding on to for dear life, your life will not be what it could be. It won't. You will not get the money because... I don't know about you guys, but I'm not as risk adverse as most people. I look at what couldn't happen. You know, I did the Craigslist protocols. I was like, what could happen? This could be good. I didn't go because, you know, one of the things that happens with fear is you conjure up all of the negative stuff. Well, this could happen. That can happen. I had one friend, you know, who knew about my uh, exploits and he like, he ain't catch nothing. All right, here's my HIV report. Here's my other STDs, all negative. And I think this fear keeps people on the sideline. Like there's a real big fear of men getting taken to the cleaners in court if they engage with a woman. There's a big fear that if you try to talk to a woman, you go into jail. These are irrational fears. 
Because most men don't have any gold to be dug. But for some reason, there's a lot of guys going around here like, hey, they're going to get me. Go shake me up. And, you know, with marriage, half of them do work out. But there's this fear of making mistakes. And I'm going to tell you something. The more mistakes that you make, the more successful you will be. The more mistakes that you make, the more successful you will be. Because when you make a mistake, you learn something. So the more mistakes you make, the more that you learn. The more that you learn, the more information data points you have in your head. And you can look at situations that connect the dots really quickly because you have the expertise. But fear keeps people from getting expertise. I... I, I'm like, and you know, I'm going I'm to say it. The majority of you will never, ever go through the bad stuff that I went through. Nor do I wish that upon anyone. I don't wish people live in the boarding house. I don't wish people to go through that pain and trauma. And that could be the problem because you haven't suffered enough to let that fear go. Because... You know, we, we're bringing it back. We're going back to the old Hustlers Kung Fu. We're going back to the old YouTube where I'm going to tell you about yourself and you may unsubscribe, but one day you will remember this because with fear as your leading indicator in life, your life is going to suck. Like there are many women out here, hair done, nails done, got a degree, got a job, got a car, homeowner. They're full of fear too. Well, if I get with this guy and I got all of this stuff, fear, just tons and tons of fear because the more that you have, the more that you think that someone's going to try to take some of your, your stuff. And this is a a fallacy because they can only get what you allow them to get. And a big part of this fear, I should say apathy. There's a lot of apathy. I have put it out time and time again. Every man needs to get a holding company and LLC. And there are many of you heard me say this, but until you go ahead and get big booty bet, Betty pregnant and little Jojo on the way, and once a little joke, that's when you want to take action when it's too late. The time to stack your nuts are in good times. This is when you stack your nuts. Not after the horse has left the barn do you close the gate. They ain't doing nothing. But it's fear or apathy. Apathy, I don't care. I ain't worried about that. But I'm telling you. No one who has made big money has been in an environment of fear. No one. What, you like football players? Football players, in many cases, are literally putting their life on the line to make that money. Once again, to make big money, you must be courageous. Because I'm saying big money for a reason, because... There's a lot of you who are making $50 a month, 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month from your online endeavors. That is not pay the bill money. I'm talking about money that pays the mortgage, that pays car notes, that pays college tuitions, that pays medical bills. I'm talking about that kind of money. I'm not talking about that piddly stuff. But as long as you have this fear, and, you know, I've been on YouTube 10 years. Some of you I have grown to know. And also, a lot of you don't like the tough message. You will go to a softer, you go to mom. I'm like dad. I'm like the cranky dad that tell you the truth. You go to mom. And they ain't going to help you in life. Because kids need their mothers from, you know, zero months up to about 10 they need dads the rest of their life. So 
listen to dad. We'll do whatever you have to do to get rid of your fear. Do whatever you have to do to take daily actions. To do whatever you have to do to stop being paralyzed by your fear. I mean, fear is a nasty, nasty thing to have in your life. It will limit you. It will close doors. It will reduce opportunity. And it don't have to be that way. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to raise up your paw and say this pledge. I will no longer let fear hold me back. Do it. Say the pledge and then take action because there's so many good things that can happen for you once you start taking action. There's so many wonderful things that could be part of your life if you take action and stop being a scared little bitch. And, you know, I'm kind of remembering when I used to be a scared little bitch. I'm remembering the self-loathing, the lack of skill sets. And I shudder because that was just a horrible moment in my life because I wasn't really trying to compete. Because, see, this is the thing. There are so many ways to make money, but everybody's trying to go through these channels. And they want to guarantee like, if I spend X amount of money for your course, can you guarantee me money? And I'm going to make a deal with you. If I can guarantee, if you can guarantee me a solid work ethic, if you can guarantee me that you're going to work five days a week, if you guarantee me that you don't have any learning disabilities. See, when we start getting the guarantees, it gets real tricky because I've had people take my courses and do amazingly well. And I've had some people take them and it just didn't work out. And one of the things I've looked at is the people who took the courses had a amazingly positive attitude. They were go-getters. They were starters. And like, you know, I got my folder. I call it Hustler Kung Fu Losers. Of all those people who got these free courses, they are the only ones who are daily asking to be taken off of the email list. I had a conversation with one of them. I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. I'm like, absolutely you did. So I sent him a screenshot of the 19 courses that he gave up and told him. It's like, you didn't take action, bro. And he's like, wait, 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 wait. That was a few years ago. You, you didn't take action, bro. You let a golden opportunity go away because fear, apathy, I don't know. And this is one of the reasons that I'll never do anything like that again. Because I was rooting for y'all. And 95% of y'all let me down. Didn't want to take action. Didn't want to do nothing. And this is why the average person is average. They don't want to do nothing. They don't want to take any risks. They don't want to be bothered. They don't want to have any responsibilities. And that's why they will remain average. And they will pass on average to their children, which is a sad, jacked up inheritance. Well, here, little Johnny, here's an average life to you. And little Johnny, he like, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. So one of the things you've got to do is to get over your fears. Stop allowing your fears to hold you back. Stop allowing your fears to put a big pause, press the pause button on your life. Do you want to be 95 years old looking back and not unhappy and very unhappy with your life? Like, Man, I wish I had started that business. Man, I wish I had asked that girl out. Man, I wish I had. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I would have, should have, should have. Do you want that? I don't. That's why I take action every day to move my life forward. And that's why I want you to join me in that. Because this fear stuff has got to stop. Because it's holding you back. And it's pissing me off. Because some of you, I'm not going to name names, y'all been living in fear for five, six, seven, eight years. Like, 
Yeah, I'm listening to you, Glenda. Love the videos. I just don't take the advice. I don't put the advice in action. And once again, like last week when I was uploading a bunch of videos, it was very interesting which videos we were watched. But what I got for you guys is a pathway. Shake that fear off. Go below, get your free audio book. That's free. And that, that's, that should be real easy. And then start buying the courses so you can be successful. So you can have the life that you want. Tells you what courses to buy and what order to go in. So after that, there's a commercial here that talks about the courses, that talks about the pathway and what you can get. Because I can tell you, if you do the work, you will make more money than you make now. Facts, as they say on this industry. So let's roll this wonderful commercial footage. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned when I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and hit that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway, because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. 
I've had a lot of people take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming a Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop. How to manage your time. How to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days for 2500, I had some students do amazingly well. And some students struggle. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, cause 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. 
Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself you need to um believe in yourself mike ellie this ain't no theory this ain't no theory man these courses have come from my business experience there is no theory here Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those are only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff. Uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do.
Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that 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 thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff, you want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what on this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glennon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundation courses, then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.